Yo, 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 what is up? <clears throat> so I did a little mini ethnicity tag. Uh, I just, it was kind of more of a rant yesterday. So I'm actually going to do this the proper way and answer the actual questions. So here we go. Okay, what are you mixed with? I'm mixed with Palestinian, uh, Jordanian, Egyptian, uh, Palestinian Bedouin, um, Lebanese, English, Turkish, Scottish, German, a little bit Irish and a little bit Italian. Okay, so, um, so what, what race or ethnicity do I get mistaken for? Italian, Spanish, Mexican, and then some people have mistook me for Yupik, but that's only a couple people. But most people, they mistake me for Italian, Spanish, or Mexican, okay? Um, was coming from different backgrounds challenging growing up? Hell yeah, it was. So my mom's Arab, my dad's white. Um, so, yeah, my dad's British, my mom's Palestinian, so, um, and she's only half Palestinian. She's also got Norwegian, English, Jordanian, and Egyptian and Lebanese in her, right? So, um, basically, I was like, Growing up mixed race in a town with not a lot of Arabs and not a lot of Palestinians and not a lot of Arabs in general and within that group of Arabs, not a lot of Palestinians. About 3% of the Arab community in Anchorage is Palestinian. So um, growing up in Anchorage, Alaska, like I had like identity crisis. I had an identity crisis and... I tried to fit in with the Mexicans, uh, the Peruvians, the Dominicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Colombians, the Samoans, the Tongans, the Hawaiians, the Yupiks, all of them. And shit, man, it was hella confusing. But then when I dropped out of college and shit, like that's where I started like, you know, actually being confident to feel and be myself, you know what I'm saying? So that was a big moment for me. Okay. Um, what background do you embrace most? The background I embrace most is Palestinian. You feel me? Because um, I grew up with my mom's side of the family. Uh, my city raised me. So shout out to my city. Um, and she is Palestinian, right? She's Palestinian, she's Jordanian, she's Egyptian. I did the whole DNA test, you know what I am. Uh, but mainly, we identify as Palestinian, right? So, um, that's who I grew up with. That's who raised me. Uh, and my mom's younger brother pretty much was like an adoptive father to me. My dad wasn't really in the picture for most most of my childhood. And when he was, he was either had anger issues or he was drunk. So, yeah, my mom's younger brother and my my mom's dad's from Norway. So it's, he can be a good role model to a certain extent. But at some point, I need a Arab man, Arab male, Arab role model, right? So that's where my mom's younger brother came into the picture. And he was a role model. Um for me, you know, so, and that's, that's why I identify mostly with the Palestinian side, um, and even though we, like, we are, that side is mixed too, like, with Palestinian, Egyptian, Jordanian, Bedouin, but that's from Palestine as well, because we're the, from the al Tiraban tribe, even though that side's mixed up, we still mainly identify as Palestinian, you know, so, um, that's, so I mainly identify as Palestinian. With my Palestinian side, I embrace that side of the family the most. And have you ever been teased for being different? Hell yeah. Hell the fuck yeah. 
white people said I'm not Arab or black people said I'm not Arab. Like, yeah, no, I've gotten hella shit for being mixed race. Um, have you ever been ashamed of being mixed race? Um, you know, yeah, sometimes I am. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, and you know, I'll never, never date a white woman. I will never marry a white woman. Uh, that's just something I can't do. You know what I'm saying? I promised my city I'd, I'd never, I'd never do that. You know, so I promised my city I'd never marry a white woman or date a white woman. So yeah, I gotta stick to my promise. Um, do you feel that being mixed race has its benefits? Oh uh, yeah, to a certain extent. I'm light skinned. Well, that's not a that's not a benefit, but um, yes and no. I'd say, but not really. I don't think so. For me, being mixed race. I mean, there's two different cultures associated, or several different cultures associated. Um, and. So that's a good part because I can learn a lot of cultures. Um, but there's also the fact that uh, because of colonialism, like my dad, my dad's country colonized my mom's country. Okay. Um, what else? Colonialism. Oh. Also, like the my mom's like really like some people in my family are really whitewashed and internalized racism and Islamophobia a lot. So yeah, it's so we don't really so I don't really get along with those relatives that have internalized racism and Islamophobia on my mom's side. Um and yeah, that's so that's. That's one of the, the, the cons, but benefits of being mixed race is like you get to be participate in a lot of cultures and you get to claim a lot of cultures and that's that's the main benefit. Um What makes me being mixed race a beautiful thing? Just being from different cultures, <laughs> having a mix of cultures in your background. Um but I'm I'm biased towards some of the cultures more than others, if you feel what I'm saying. The three most that I'm biased towards are Palestinian, Jordanian, and then a third place is going to be a tie between Egyptian and Lebanese. So that's, yeah. So those are the three cultures in my background that I'm very biased to, you know what I'm saying? Um, and any advice to someone who struggles with multiracial identity? Be yourself. Know your gut instincts, because your gut instincts will tell you how to identify, right? <laughs> and, and if you're part Arab, identify with the Arab side. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's pretty much all I got. So, like, subscribe, comment. You know the drill. Share that shit on Twitter, and I'm out here. Peace.